Hi friends, I am Balaji Rao. Welcome to B R Max Class. If you like this video, please share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Limit of a function. Very very important definition in calculus chapter. This definition is not an easy definition. It's not like other definition you can understand within a minute or two minutes. To understand the definition of limit of a function, please watch this video till the end. To understand limit of a function, first we will try to understand few terms which are used in limit of a function. First, x tends to a minus. What does this mean? How we read it as? We read it as x approaches to a x approaches to a from left or we can read like this also x tends to a from left x approaches to a from left i'll try to explain this on the number line what is a a is some real number x approaches to a from left observe here x approaches to a from left x approaches to a from left means what it means all x values are less than a and very very nearer to a it's important that very very nearer to a i'll try to explain this with an example x approaches to 2 from left what it mean it means that all x values are less than less than 2 and very very nearer to 2 you see this on the number line you mark the numbers according to number line 1 2 3 x approaches to 2 from left you observe here x approaches to 2 from left that means what all x values are 1.9 1.99 1.9999 like this you observe all these values all these values are approaching to 2 from left observe all x values are less than 2 very very nearer to 2 and approaching to 2 from left so what you observe here all x values are approaching to 2 from left in another words we can say like this also x approaches to 2 from left means all x values are in the left neighborhood of 2 that means x equals to 2 minus h where h is very small positive quantity see i'll take h values like this h is very small positive quantity if i take h is 0.1 and i substitute in x equals to 2 minus h i'll get 1.9 You take h is equals to 0.01, substitute in 2 minus h, you will get x equals to 1.99. X approaches to 2 from left means all x values are in the left neighborhood of 2. Similarly, x approaches to 2 from right. How you read it as x approaches to 2 from right or x tends to 2 from right. x approaches to 2 from right what it mean it mean all x values are greater than 2 and very very nearer to 2 greater than 2 and very very nearer to 2 i'll try to explain this on the number line you mark the numbers as per number line x approaches to 2 from right you observe here what are x values 2.1 2.01 2.001 you observe all these values all these values are nearer to 2 and approaching to 2 from right all x values are greater than 2 and approaching to 2 from right so what we observe here all x values are approaches to 2 from right in another words we can say like this also 
x approaches to 2 from right means what are the x values x can be written as 2 plus h it is nothing but right neighborhood of 2 what is h here h is very small positive quantity for example take h is 0 0.1 substitute in 2 plus h you will get 2.1 similarly take 0 0.01 substitute in 2 plus h you will get 2.1 0, 1. So, what we learn till now here, x approaches to 2 from left. What it mean? It means that all x values are less than 2 and very very nearer to 2. x approaches to 2 from right. x approaches to 2 from right means all x values are greater than 2 and very very nearer to 2 and what it mean x approaches to 2 you observe there is no left or right symbol what we read it as x approaches to 2 or x tends to 2 what it mean x approaches to 2 means what x approaches to 2 from left or x approaches to 2 from right what it mean x approaches to 2 mean what x approaches to 2 means x may approach s to 2 from left or right it may approach from any side i'll try to explain this on the number line x approaches to 2 means it may approach to 2 from left or right you mark the numbers as per number line 1 2 3 see it may approach to 2 from left it can approach us to 2 from left or it can approach us to 2 from right also. It may approach to 2 from any side. x approaches to 2 means all x values are in the neighborhood of 2. x approaches to 2 means all x values are in the neighborhood of 2. Try to understand this please. That is all x values are very very nearer to 2 which are slightly greater than 2 or slightly less than 2. I will conclude, x approaches to 2 from left means all x values are less than 2 and very very nearer to 2. x approaches to 2 from right means all x values are greater than 2 and very very nearer to 2. x approaches to 2 means it may approach us to 2 from left or right. Now, we will try to understand what is limit of a function. Observing the tendency of a function f of x when x approaches to particular value from left and right. Observing the tendency of the function when x approaches to particular value from left and right. I will try to explain this in a graph. Consider the coordinate axis x axis, y axis, origin. And now I will take a curve y is equals to f of x. Observe x approaches to 0 from left. What it means? All x values are approaching to 0 from left. Now you observe that where the function f of x is approaching. Observe that f of x is approaching to what value? The graph is approaching to what value? It is approaching to 1. As x approaches to 0 from left, f of x is approaching to 1 from left. So limiting position of this function when x approaches to 0 from left is what? Yes, what? It is approaching to 1. It is approaching to 1. So we say that 1 is the left hand limit of the given function. Now you observe that x approaches to 0 from right. All x values are approaching to 0 from right. Now you observe the function. When x approaches to 0 from right, f of x approaches to what value? f of x is approaching to 1. So what is the limiting position of the function when x approaches to 0 from right? When x approaches to 0 from right, f of x is also approaching to 1 from right. So we say that right hand limit of this function is 1. Left hand limit is same as right hand limit. 
what we observe listen this when x approaches to particular value from left and right f of x is also approaches to particular value from left and right from this the concept limit of a function is developed as left hand limit is same as right hand limit we say that limit extends to 0 f of x equal to 1 so limit of this function is 1 find finding the limit of a function is nothing but observing the tendency of a function when x approaches to a particular value from left and right we will try to find limit of a function with one more example finding limit of a function is nothing but observing the tendency of the function when x approaches to a particular value from left and right i'll try to explain this by using the graph consider the coordinate axis x axis y axis I'll consider the function f of x. Here, this is the graph of sin x drawn from 0 to pi. We know that at pi by 2, sin x is 1. x approaches to pi by 2 from left. Observe here, x approaches to pi by 2 from left. Observe the function f of x. It is approaching to 1. Its limiting position is what? 1. So, limiting position of sin x when x approaches to pi by 2 from left equal to 1 it means left hand limit of sin x when x approaches to pi by 2 is 1 x approaches to pi by 2 from right observe where the function is approaching function is approaching to approaches to 1 from right so limiting position of sin x when x approaches to pi by 2 from right is 1 so right hand limit of the given function is 1 left hand limit is same as right hand limit listen this carefully finding the limit of a function is nothing but observing the tendency of the function when x approaches to particular value when x approaches to particular value from left and right f of x is also approaching to particular value from left and right we say that limit of the function exists so what is limit of this function is 1 once again I repeat finding limit of a function is nothing but observing the tendency of the function when x approaches to particular value from left and right I'll try to explain limit of a function with uh, one more example finding the limit of a function is nothing but observing the tendency of the function when x approaches to particular value from left and right I'll explain this with a graph. I consider f of x as greatest integer function. x approaches to 2 from left. That means all x values are less than 2, very very nearer to 2. Then what is its functional values? Observe its functional values. Actually, when x is less than 2, greatest integer function gives 1. f of x is 1. So, limiting position of the function when x approaches to 2 from left is what? Is equals to 1 so left hand limit of the given function is 1 when x approaches to 2 from left x approaches to 2 from right all x values are greater than 2 and very very nearer to 2 you observe here when x is greater than 2 and very very nearer to 2 greatest integer function gives the values of 2 that means limit of f of x when x approaches to 2 from right is equals to 2 so right hand limit of the given function when x approaches to 2 from right is 2 you observe that left hand limit and right hand limit when x approaches to a particular value from left and right f of x is also approaches to a particular value please observe this when x approaches to a particular value from left and right f of x is approaches to a particular value no left hand limit approaches to 1 right hand limit approaches to 2 that means left hand limit is not equals to right hand limit so what is the limit of this function limit extends to 2 f of x does not exist i hope you understand this class if you like this video please press like button below share this video with your friends if you are not yet subscribed to my channel please subscribe now thanks for watching bye bye